for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip with Mad Cheese, as always. Got a brand new Madden 23 gameplay update uh, news for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over uh, an article that I came across from a very reputable source by the name of Sports Gamers Online. I don't know if you guys uh, follow that YouTube channel or if you know who they are, but they're very reputable. Everything that they put out is usually on point. Uh, they made some uh, some waves a couple of months ago when they released an article seemingly out of nowhere uh, suggesting that EA uh, was not going to follow through on their promise to put out three different franchise updates this year. And EA actually disputed it a couple days later, but to this day... <laughs> Only two franchise updates have come out. So Sports Gamers Online was correct to this moment. Uh, and I don't know if EA is still trying to save face because it seems like they're still trying to get the third franchise update out uh, even now considering you know it's very late in the year as far as Madden's concerned. We're already looking ahead to Madden 23 as I'm doing this video. This is the second Madden 23 video I did. But I give you that story as an example of how uh, on point these guys are. So the stuff I'm going to tell you today, I'm going to take it as fact until proven otherwise. Uh, they even go as far to, even though they don't have gameplay of this yet, they do provide a lot of still shots of Madden 23 that look like, you know, legit still shots of Madden 23. Like, I, I don't think that they necessarily uh, created a lot of these, but I'll go into that as I go along in this video. As always, if you guys want to see more videos what? like this, hit the like button in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, as far as the features go, uh, number one, like I said, we have a really cool shot of what looks like the loading screen of Madden 23. Um, it looks like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if DK Metcalf is going to be the guy or if they're, what, what, what's going on there. But ultimately, you can see there's a slightly different uh, interface when it comes to uh, what looks like normally, you know, last year I think it was Tom Brady walks out. This year it looks like DK Metcalf. I don't know, like I said, that might be based off your team your favorite team you pick or something like that really don't know but it's something that's kind of evolving it's been the same pretty much intro every year with a different person walking out so starting off they have a new uh system feature called hit everything i'm going to read this uh small paragraph and then i'm going to kind of unpack what they're really saying uh it says that this system according to ea sports will see the game take a step back from animation driven gameplay the hit everything system will see players have more organic and consistent tackling results when trying to hit players around the field. Players will use the hit stick to trigger physics driven animation that reward who you are as a tackler, that's very important, and how much impact you brought to a pile. So to unpack this, first of all in the first line they say it takes a step back. They did not say this will end animation driven gameplay. That's something that's always going to be a part of the game. I think it's just easier for EA to make the game that way. But they're giving you some aspect of control with the hit stick, which obviously a lot of people um, really prefer anyway. Since the hit stick came out, I mean, it used to be a little bit more overpowered as far as your ability to force fumbles with good hit sticks and stuff like that. But ultimately, that even that's been toned down. This here, though, is a good addition. Now, when it comes to, um, you know, they say organic and consistent tackling results, once again, consistent, meaning that it's not going to be all the time, but you're going to have uh, more opportunities to control the gameplay with things like a hit stick. So what that means to me, and I'm going to go when I get to the next one here, uh, something called tackle battles, that's going to come into play as well. But what that means to me is you're just going to basically have a lot of opportunities where if you're coming into, you know, running back or coming up to a pile, uh, you know, where maybe the running back has that fall forward mechanic going and you lay a good hit stick, you'll probably see some sort of animation pop up to let you know that this and that this came into play. But I don't think you're necessarily, you know, like I said, it's not the end of, of animation driven gameplay because obviously if you're not hit sticking, that's not going to come into play. And then it's probably just going to be the same old generic fall forward for three yards while he drags multiple defenders and stuff like that that people get upset about. And also a very important part of this is going to be hit power as well. Obviously, uh, maybe even strength, maybe even the size of the player maybe even who the player is because it says reward who you are as a tackler so clearly if you're a 70 overall cornerback it's not gonna have the same effect as Aaron Donald coming in and hitting a pile so that's something to, to bear in mind uh, with that being said maybe there will be a new rating 
Uh, I mean, like I said, hit power and strength make the most sense. It probably would just play off of that. But maybe there'll be some new ratings based off of, uh, you know, a, a new attribute tier uh, that's more directly reflected to this because they do that as well. They do add a lot of attributes uh, and stuff like that from time to time. Now, the next one is tackle battles. This is something that was actually in the game a couple years back where, uh, you know, an icon would pop up and you could basically hit it and get out and, you know, basically break a tackle. So this is something that they're kind of bringing back. It was pretty cool. But, uh, you know, this one says Tackle Battle Minigame. So I don't know. I don't remember if uh, you had the option as the tackler to hit that button to basically fight back. But that's really what it sounds like. And I don't know if it's going to be something. Um, it says here that it says you have to mash the A slash X button. So I feel like it's going to be um, whoever hits the button the most times. I really don't know. I think in the past it was whoever hit it first. It's something that's designed to keep you a little bit more invested in the game on a play-by-play -play basis because you never know when that uh, you know break tackle button is going to pop up or you know if you're making the tackle, you never know when it's going to pop up. A lot of times now when you you can see certain tackle animations trigger you just kind of let it play out you know the play's dead you don't really do anything you're just like okay i know what's going on here now you're gonna have an opportunity to break out of that so it's just gonna keep you more uh engaged i don't know why they ever got rid of that feature it wasn't a bad feature to begin with uh but the thing that really is impressive and that looks like it's going to be um, you know, one of the, the big uh, changes in the game this year is some of the passing things that uh, are, that they're bringing to the game. They're bringing a lot of new passing functions. A lot of them you have the option to whether to just play like you did Madden 22. You don't have, you can turn them on or off. Uh, but ultimately, uh, these are things that I think are going to give you a really big advantage if you turn them on. Which I know a lot of people, you know, I'm just basing this off the view counts of my videos. Passing is probably something that people have the most difficulty with when it comes to playing Madden uh, because there's so many uh, you know functionality issues that people just aren't comfortable with using over the years that the game has added that they never really picked up so I don't know how many years it's going to take for people to kind of implement these things into their game because like I said I know that you know there's just a lot of people that don't even know how to pass lead I get comments in my comment section all the time how do you pass lead uh, how do you you know I'm sure people pretty much know how to bullet pass and lob pass I know a lot of people don't use the low throw mechanic the high throw mechanics I know a lot of people don't use the safe catching, rack catching mechanics properly or enough. Um, so it's like there's so many different functions that, that go into passing and receiving in Madden now that people aren't comfortable using or that people aren't using enough or that people have a, a problem with. Even simple things like setting your feet when you pass the ball is super important. Uh, navigating the pocket, uh, things like, um, you know, this is, this is really what makes Madden so challenging and so rewarding if you really master these functions. There's so many different things that you have to do as a quarterback uh, to be successful to throw the ball and people there's so many people that don't know how to do that so to add more passing mechanics i think it might really only um you know benefit the really elite players or the really good players but i do think that looking at some of these things i think that they're really going to benefit uh those players a lot and i'm, I'm really excited for them i know that but let's go and let's read some of this the biggest overhaul coming in terms of gameplay is the passing game. It's the passing game in Madden 23. Madden 23 gameplay will feature a brand new skill-based passing system that will allow players to have more control over the placement, power, and or accuracy of the passes. Now, it says more control because you've always had control over that. Now, a lot of these things I think are just going to add a little meter so you can see that you have control and maybe it'll give you more opportunity to have control over things. Like I said, when I say accuracy, a lot of times... Um, you know, you're in the pocket and there's a fear monger defender coming your way or the quarterback feels the pressure and all of a sudden you just throw a wild pass. So that's why, to me, to be able to eliminate those wild pass throws, those inaccurate throws, you see them all the time in the little you know, text at the bottom of the screen, uh, inaccurate pass because yada, yada, yada. To be able to control that more is going to, you know, basically just raise your success rate percentage. So that's why, to me, the accuracy one I'm going to read you guys in a minute is probably my favorite. So it says, in addition to being able to toggle the system on or off, you know, like the old pass passing cone from years back. I actually like the passing cone, by the way. The skill-based passing feature will include a number of various options that can be individually set. Now, this is important because you really have to choose which one you want to use. It doesn't sound like you can use them all at the same time. It doesn't sound like the game is capable of doing that. So you're really going to have to choose which one you like the most. And that's why, like I said, to me, it's going to be accuracy enabled. Now, they have a picture here of what the accuracy meter is going to look like. I don't know if that's legit what it's going to look like. It almost looks like, like a kicking meter. Think in terms of that where you have to basically land within the accuracy 
accuracy meter when the kicking bar comes back down. I don't know if that's something that they just basically put on the screen themselves because I'm not sure. This doesn't necessarily, nothing about this screams new game or um, Madden 23. I can't really tell based on the picture. Now, when it comes to enabling the accuracy meter, uh, it just allows control of whether it's a pass is going to be accurate or inaccurate. So I, I like that. Like I said, that to me is really important. Uh, it says land the meter in the light green area for a perfect pass every single time. Kind of like 2K when you're shooting uh, the ball. You just have to land it in the in the meter and then you're, you're hitting three pointers over and over and over. So that's something that is not necessarily a revolutionary feature, but I like having control of that. And I think that's going to be really important because a lot of times you see an inaccurate pass and you're like, why? Why was that inaccurate? You know what I mean? So if you have more control over that, I think that'll be very important. But if I have to choose between that and the next one, the strength meter, now it becomes a little bit of a game of you know what's the better one to do now the strength meter only appears when the accuracy meter is turned off so basically uh, i don't know if you're gonna lose control of a function if i if i lose the ability to bullet pass or lob pass uh i don't understand the point of having any of these on if you have to choose between them and that's kind of what this sounds like so it says the strength meter appears only when the accuracy meter is turned off the strength meter lets you visibly see how much power you're putting onto a pass by filling up the green semicircle depending on how how long you hold and press the button. This can be used to control the arc of the ball. Like I said, that one I'm not necessarily 100% sure about. I actually kind of like the way the passing is now when it comes to, um, you know, if, if I have to lose, if I lose the ability to lob or bullet pass or whatever, based off of the fact that I'm choosing the accuracy meter, that's actually a step in the wrong direction. But I don't really feel like it's gonna be that way. I feel like there's something about it I'm just not understanding. Uh, it says here, short duration hold, a higher arc, loftier pass. Uh, medium duration hold, a moderate arc, touch pass, which this sounds just like it is now. Long duration hold, a straight line bullet pass. So, like I said, this is something that's been in the game for years and that I'm already using. It sounds like now you either just turn this whole system off so you can keep using it the same way you always have, or you have to choose between seeing one or the other. It says, I mean, ultimately it just looks like you're seeing it, not necessarily losing it or gaining it. So it's like, I feel like it'll it'll all be there. You're just actually getting something that where you can see it. And I, I'd much rather see the accuracy meter. And then next up we have something called a precision pass ellipse with a reticle. Now. I, the reticle is always there. The precision pass ellipse, I guess, from what they're showing here, it's just like this gray outline or like a like a circular box. And I guess that when the ball's in the air, you can choose where the reticle is going to be inside of that box. So that's a cool feature. They show it using it here in the end zone, which I think makes the most sense. Uh, this is something where I doubt you're going to want to use on every single play. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, it's probably going to be very difficult. But ultimately, if you're trying to place the ball in a position, which is what they're showing here, where you're trying to place the ball, which is either going to go out of bounds where nobody will catch it or your receiver will have the best shot at the ball, that's something where, like I said, I, I think that might only be useful in like a red zone situation uh, where, you know, you're basically... Um, just putting it in a spot where only a receiver can get it or it's going to be out of bounds. So other than that, I don't see that being used too much, uh, you know, throughout the rest of the field. But that's something that, you know, that might make, uh, I can guarantee anytime they add a new feature. Like I remember when the high, uh, the high catch was first added, it was just broken and nobody could stop it. This could be something like that when it comes to scoring touchdowns early in Madden 23. Now there's also something called grid snapping, which you can turn on or off. It says the reticle will snap the predetermined areas of the ellipse. Uh, target area gray circle, which is what they're calling the ellipse. Um, I don't know why, what I never even heard that word ellipse before. So based on your L stick inputs. So that there is just like a little bit more, um, a little bit less control from the sound of it uh, when it comes to where that, that placement's gonna be. Uh, once again, I don't know how, how, how often that's gonna be used. I, that's not something that really gets me too excited. And then you also have the free form reticle, which basically gives you the ability to, um, you know, basically place it inside or outside of that gray area. Uh, this says right here, it's supposed to be high risk, high reward. Um, I don't think that, you know, this, this to me sounds a little bit like total control passing, uh, that didn't last very long, uh, in Madden, I think it was like Madden 18 or something, I like Madden 18 or 19, I had a video on that, we, when I made that video, I didn't understand what the, how the hell the, you were supposed to use that, this sounds a lot like that, I don't really think that that's gonna get a lot of, uh, use, I don't think you're gonna see that a lot when you're playing people online, it's probably gonna be too difficult, it's gonna take people a long time probably to figure that out, and then you also have the ability to control how fast, that freeform uh, moves. So, you know, all this stuff's 
Um, definitely uh, unique. It's going to be something that I'm definitely going to make videos about when the game comes out. So that's going to be a lot of free views for me because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people Googling how to use these things. Uh, so that's definitely something that's exciting for me. But I don't know how exciting that's going to be for the Madden community. I think a lot of people are going to try it, realize it's probably too difficult, and then just go back to the way they were playing. Now, there is another really interesting one. This one might be the most interesting. It's the slowdown effect. Lastly, the slowdown effect is an option that allows you to slow down the game at the moment you execute a pass, allowing users more time to aim the pass, set strength, accuracy, slash accuracy meters. The lower the number, the more the game is slowed down making a pass. Examples of a slowdown effect are 25 to 25 percent, 50 to 50 percent, 75 to 70, you know, clearly 100 to 100 percent. This is interesting to me because it's like if I'm on the defensive side, is it going to slow the game down for me as well? Which really sounds annoying. Uh, if that's really the case, like I said, this this is something that I hope is only available like against the computer or something like that. Because if I'm playing a game online and all of a sudden everything slows to a halt and I have to, and I'm trying to control my defender to turn it, that's just going to be super annoying. It's going to make it a lot harder to time interceptions and stuff like that. I would imagine. So hopefully that's something that only takes place uh, when playing the computer, when playing offline franchise or something like that, or when you know playing uh, other game modes other than online head to head. Because that sounds insane uh, to slow down the game like that and i want to see what that looks like but at the end of the day um, i don't want to play against that i don't want to i don't want to play against somebody who's constantly slowing the game down that's just going to be i think it's going to be very disorienting so hopefully that's something that uh is only available in certain modes or in certain situations but definitely sounds interesting so a lot of really innovative stuff let me know what you guys think in the comment section this gets you excited for mad 23 i'm sure there's gonna be more stuff dropping soon this is just a taste this is just a tip of the iceberg but let me know what you guys think in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this please make sure to be subscribed other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.